David and Angie, and we live in a tiny dry cabin in Alaska. We are the Rutherfords, and these are our roamings. do something fun for you guys today we're actually we're heading over to Lowe's then we're gonna go to Three Bears and there's everybody's talking about all this shortages we're having um, you know just of trucking and ships that can't get unloaded or whatever um, I'm not sure how much it's affecting us up here or not so we're gonna head to the stores right now and we're gonna walk around Lowe's and see if there's any shortages of anything and we'll, we'll, we'll bring to you what we find uh, walk around three bears see if there's any shortages of anything but uh the only thing i know for sure that i've seen gone over the last couple of weeks is rice rice the big giant bags of rice you can't find those anymore right now but uh i, I haven't even looked at the toilet paper aisle we get a big thing of toilet paper it lasts us like two years so yeah. <laughs> So we don't have to go on that aisle very often. This is Wasilla. Downtown, downtown Wasilla. Not a whole lot of downtown. No, Wasilla's pretty spread out. I don't know if you can hear that. Not yet. We're, we're trying to get out of the car. When it's really windy like this, you get out of the car one at a time because if you both doors open, things get crazy in here. So who's going first? You go. Get the dog. Get the some barren shelves right there. Right there. So there's another, another house cabin dilemma that we've been dealing with for how long now? Two years now? We're trying to figure out what we're gonna do behind the wood stove. We got all the backer board on there, but we haven't decided what to do behind it. Whether it be tile, rock, something, whatever. Um, and we're not getting anything today. We're just kind of looking around, seeing what's here. Cause we haven't been here in a while looking for that kind of stuff. We're also looking for ideas like this is like some of the cool stuff that's here you know like do we want to do some kind of rocky bricky looking thing or like a, just a regular ceramic tile or we got fancy tiles And this side, you got all these different tiles. So, so, this is our dilemma. We're trying to move on with this part of the project, see what we want to put in there. So, 
definitely uh, comment below. Give us your ideas, something that you, you might like or something you've already done, or even if there's another idea out there that we haven't thought of yet, we're always looking for ideas. You got pepper towels. You see plenty of bath tissue over here. No shortage of bath tissue. So here we are, we're driving home. After going to the stores. We didn't see anything big missing really. I mean there's there's some definitely some empty shelves, but it's kind of random. It's not like there's just like totally short on different things. Um, definitely plenty of toilet paper. But the neighbors just messaged us and told us that the power is out at the house. But I'm looking driving here and there's plenty of power around us so it's not widespread. So we'll, we'll see how long we have no power. Probably a down tree on a power line somewhere. I would not be surprised all the wind we're having right now and all the trees we saw falling down earlier. There's even a couple in our backyard. They're not endangering nothing, but they fell down. But so we got home here, no electricity, because the one luxury we do have in our cabin is electricity. But we got, we got oil lanterns, we got candles, we got our, our Coleman lantern going over here. And, and our, of course our heater doesn't need electricity. It's always going. Our stove doesn't use electricity. Mm -hmm. just wanted to bring you a little bit of an update on how I'm doing. Um, I'm actually doing really well. Um, and if you notice, I don't know that you guys noticed, but I'm on my way to my mom's. I know you guys uh, have seen this route multiple times because I spent a lot of time at my mom's and I was always talking in the car on the way to my mom's. So I'm on my way to my mom's again. And as all of you know, she's not there anymore, but we still use her house as a gathering place for the family. Um, she lived in a mobile home and it's paid for and um, it's on a property that the other family members live on. So we are going to leave her home intact and decorated the way that she has it. And we just go there and we gather and we visit and we are still going to do Bible studies at her house, which is what we did when she was still here. So actually we had two Bible studies um, previously picked out and we have the books and so in I think two weeks we are going to go forward and go ahead and do those Bible studies and just believe that she is you know here with us as we do that and the prayers and support that you guys have given is just amazing so many comments um, so many heartfelt comments and love and we feel those prayers um, we are all doing really well. Um, of course, we, we miss our mom, but we feel God's peace. We feel his arms around us and his comfort. And we know without a shadow of a doubt that our mom is in heaven and singing and visiting with Jesus and walking with Jesus and and is whole and healthy and happy and we're just excited for her and we can't wait to get there also to experience what she's experiencing and see what she sees now and so we are just going to live our best life while we're still here and not waste the wait the wait till we get there we are going 
to continue doing the things that she taught us to do and believing in the things that she taught us to believe in. And I just wanted to do that little update for you guys and let you know that your love and support and prayers are very much felt and we feel that you are very much a part of the family and um, I did talk about my mom quite often and um, so you guys probably knew what kind of a person she was by the way that I talked with her and helped her and and all the things and so yeah I just want to do that little update and let you guys know that I'm doing okay I'm doing I'm doing well and I'm I'm at my mom's now and so I'm gonna just go and um, I think I'm gonna spend some time just sitting and remembering her and enjoying the comfort of her home that she's left us hello friends welcome back um, so today it's Sunday after church it's not so windy today we're gonna try to get power to the outhouse today and see if we can get the lights working um, I ran some plastic chain and the wire out to the outhouse already but I need some supplies to connect it to the house I, mean, I want to have a switch inside the cabin that runs to a plug outside the cabin that can be switched so when we head out to the outhouse in the middle of winter dead of night we can put the switch on it lights up the outhouse and we can walk out there with no problem and, and not have to be carrying our lantern with us um, eventually we might even have like a white Christmas light um, along the pathway that's plugged into the same power source so when you turn on your outhouse lights your outhouse pathway lights will also come on so you know it's just a little modern luxury in our simple living so and uh, as you can tell Maddie's with me Maddie you going to Lowe's we go to Lowe's a lot don't we yeah Maddie goes to Lowe's again uh, we're in the Lowe's grab a couple items 